Okay, and swordfish. I love to chase after small fishes. It stops me from getting too bored. And then when I start to feel hungry, I skewer a few on my sword. An octopus. Having eight arms can be quite useful. You may think it looks a bit funny, but it helps me hold all my children and tickle each one on the tummy. And a stingray. At the bottom of the ocean, the stingray flaps his wings, but don't get too close to him because his tail really stings. And lobsters. Never shake hands with a lobster. It isn't a wise thing to do. With a clippity clap and a snippity snap, he would snip all your fingers in two. In the deep sea. Miles below the surface, where the water's dark and deep, the most amazing creatures that you sorry, live the most amazing creatures that you could ever meet. There are fish of all descriptions, of every shape and size. Some have giant pointy teeth, pointy teeth and others have great big bulbous eyes. Some of them can walk around and balance on their fins, but the strangest fish of all have glowing whiskers on their chins. A blue whale. There's no other beast on the planet as big as the giant blue whale. He measures a massive 100 feet long from his head to the tip of his tail. Barnacles. We're just a bunch of barnacles and all we do is cling. We know it's not that glamorous, but it's our favorite thing. The walrus. Our bodies are covered with blubber and our tusks are incredibly long. We're grumpy and proud and we bellow out loud to show that we're mighty and strong. Uh, penguins. We waddle about on our icebergs, which makes our feet slither and slide. And when we get close to the water, we leap with a splosh off the side. Uh, polar bears. Deep out in the Arctic, the mummy polar bear snuggles up with all her children as it's very cold out there. There you go. Commotion in the ocean. Um, have a lovely week. Um, please stay safe, take care and see you next Friday. Bye.